At the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to an engineer named Kelly. She looks quite emotional about the closure of the facility where she works. Shortly afterward, an airplane approaches and lands at the oil drilling facility. Then a man gets off the plane, and Kelly gets to know him. The man's name was Frank. He was a cargo plane pilot who also worked at the same company. It turned out that Frank was not alone flying the plane. He was assisted by a co-pilot named AJ. Frank asked Kelly and the other employees to quickly pack their luggage and leave the facility. After a while, the employees packed their belongings and tools and put them on the plane. Frank and AJ counted the employees who boarded the plane. But there was a strange man named Elliot who came along for the ride. Frank initially disagreed because Elliot was not an employee of the company, but out of pity he finally allowed Elliot to board the plane. After all passengers boarded and everything was done, Frank then began their journey. Frank's plane took off smoothly and flew smoothly without any problems at all. The passengers looked happy because they could finally meet the family they missed. After a few hours of flying, their plane experienced a bit of turbulence that made the plane vibrate slightly, which eventually made the plane's communication antenna detached. Frank was faced with a huge sandstorm in front of them, which made AJ a little panicked. He then advised Frank to return the plane to the drilling facility. Frank instead increased the altitude of his plane and broke into the sandstorm. The more turbulence they experienced, the stronger it became. The plane did not stop shaking and of course made the passengers uncomfortable. Elliot has a bad feeling about this. He also tried to remind Frank that the plane was too heavy and suggested not to fight the sandstorm in front of them. But Frank didn't listen to Elliot's advice and then forced the plane to fly into the middle of the sandstorm. AJ tried to find the nearest airport so that they could land safely, but the nearest airport was still 480 kilometers away. Then AJ tried to send an emergency signal, but because the antenna was damaged, no one heard their message. The vibrations inside the plane were getting stronger, and their luggage was shaken and people were panicking. AJ then came out and tried to calm the passengers. The nut locking the left propeller came loose and was sucked into the turbine of the plane. Because there was nothing to hold it, the propeller finally broke free and almost killed Frank in the cockpit. The engine explosion knocked AJ unconscious. After losing the left engine, Frank's plane began to lack power and flew lower and lower, which eventually crashed into a pile of rocks causing the back of the plane to break apart and open wide. Their luggage was thrown out and one of the employees was pulled and fell out of the plane. Shortly after that, the plane landed on the desert. One of them tried to get out of the plane, but Frank warned that the sandstorm was very strong and could destroy their skin in an instant. After waiting for a while, the storm subsided. They then buried the two employees who lost their lives in the horrific incident. After calming down, the passengers began to focus on finding ways to survive. Starting with building a makeshift tent so as not to overheat AJ, collected the water supplies they had, and calculated that the water supply was enough for the next 30 days. Frank looked at the map and tried to find the location they were currently in. It appeared that they were in the Gobi Desert near the border of Mongolia and China. Then Jeremy confidently said that he was able to walk to the nearest city which was about 320 kilometers from their current location. However, Rady reminded them that the temperature in July is the hottest temperature of the year, and they would not be able to survive on foot because they would definitely be dehydrated. And even worse, the rocks on the hills along the desert are magnetic, which can mess up the compass needle they have. As it got darker and night fell, everyone fell asleep in the wreckage. Davis, who had to pee at that time, could not stand it anymore and desperately got out of the plane. But when he was about to return, he accidentally tripped over a rock and rolled over in the desert valley and a sandstorm suddenly came and buried Davis alive to death. The next day everyone was panicked because Davis disappeared, and of course they couldn't find him because Davis was buried in the sand. Kelly was very disappointed with Frank, because he seemed relaxed and didn't seem to care about Davis who just disappeared. Frank defended himself and told Kelly that people are adults, and they should take care of themselves. Kelly and the others began to lose confidence in themselves. They are convinced that no one can save them all. Jeremy and Ian had run out of patience, and they decided to get a gallon of water and try to leave on foot. Frank got angry and took back the precious gallon of water. After the struggle, 
they accidentally broke the gallon and lost their precious water supply. Elliot, who saw the commotion from a distance, suddenly came up with a crazy idea. All this time he has been secretly observing the wreckage of the plane and making plans to build a simple airplane from the remaining engines. He said that the right engine of the plane was still intact and could be used. It turns out that Elliot is an engineer and works for a well-known aircraft company in America. But Frank didn't care about Elliot's abilities and ideas. He thinks that making an airplane takes a very long time while their water supply is only enough for the next 30 days. Then the scene moves at night. They just realized a friend of theirs named James suddenly disappeared. Kelly panicked and then insisted on going to look for him that night. But this time Frank felt responsible, and he was the one who then went looking for James. For a whole day Frank walked through the deserted and hot desert, in search of James who went nowhere. Until soon Frank arrived at a rocky hill, filled with their belongings that had fallen from the plane a few days ago. He was shocked after seeing a corpse lying on the rocks, and Frank was even more shocked after seeing the corpse's body full of gunshot holes. It turned out that it was not James's body, but another passenger who had fallen when the plane had an incident in the air. James was still alive and surprised Frank by appearing suddenly from behind. Frank was a little relieved to see James alive, but he was also worried to see the corpse filled with gunshot marks. He was sure the culprit was a horde of nomadic tribes roaming this desert. After finding James, Frank returned to his plane. There he made up his mind and agreed with Elliot to build a simple airplane. They worked hard to dismantle the wreckage of Frank's old plane, but because they worked so hard, the water supply was also running low. Many trials stood in their way while building the airplane. Once, they had to deal with a thunderstorm that struck and almost killed them all. Not only that, some of the fuel supplies were accidentally hit by sparks and exploded. After two weeks, they were stranded in the desert. The airplane finally began to take shape. Rady named the simple airplane Phoenix like a bird of fire rising from the ashes. But again, they were hit by disaster. At night, because of the explosion a few days ago, a group of unknown people approached them. This is where the dilemma began. Ian thought that the group of people might be able to save them, or at least provide water and food. But Frank remembered that a week ago he found a corpse full of gunshot marks. These people could be the culprits, but in the end, they took the risk. Ian, Alex, and AJ approached the group of people. They tried to communicate and call for help. The situation becomes even more tense after James accidentally sees the watch belonging to the man whose body Frank found, being worn by one of the strangers. Because they were caught, their leader tried to shoot AJ, but Alex sacrificed himself. Frank quickly shot back at the men, but one man managed to escape. Everyone was devastated and saddened by this incident. Alex's gunshot wound was too severe which caused him to lose his life. They all didn't want to waste time being sad for too long. Then they continued their work. Frank accidentally found a magazine containing a catalog of toy planes in Elliot's bag. It turns out that all this time Elliot was not completely honest with them. Elliot is indeed an aircraft engineer, but a remote control airplane that is a child's toy. Of course everyone was angry with Elliot because they felt lied to. They think making real airplanes and toy airplanes is very different. Then Elliot was beaten up so badly that Ian even planned to kill Elliot. But soon the wind blows hard and slightly lifts the plane they created. It was at this moment that they had a little hope and believed that Elliot's plane could actually fly. Frank doesn't have much time left in this desert. In the distance he saw two nomadic tribesmen who had found the position of their plane. After checking the condition of the plane one last time, they all worked together to pull the plane onto the runway. Finally, the long-awaited moment arrived, where Frank tried to manually ignite the plane with a flare gun that had only a few bullets left. After three attempts, the plane's engine still wouldn't start, and with the last bullet, the propeller finally started spinning and running normally. They all had no more time because the nomadic tribe had surrounded all the hills around the plane. After everyone boarded the plane, Frank then accelerated the plane to full power. The tail wing of the plane was damaged because the wire was cut. But Elliot dared to put the wire back, and at the right time, their plane managed to get out of the ravine and finally took them flying high to return home. And the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.